I'm hoping for, I guess we could start with with Hassan. Uh, you know, he's got a, a good long list like everybody does of, of these are the focus points. Um, you know, I want to continue to have him expand what he can do without the ball in his hand, uh, become even more proficient. He was a pretty good pass protector, but there's things that he uh, will be able to bring us as a blocker on the sweep game, on the perimeter, um, you know, possibly as a lead blocker in terms of some of the two back stuff, um, kind of acting like uh, doing some of the jobs that a fullback would sometimes do. He's capable of all that. And so I think he's going to be able to take another step uh, in, in being going from just being decent at that to being really dominant. Um, the other thing for him is, is, you know, continuing to, to open up his hips, improve his stride length and, and turn some of those, you know, those seven to 15 yard runs into really big ones. I think that everybody, you know, respects the way that he plays and loved watching him run last year. And Hassan will be the first one to tell you, he wants to turn some of those ones into even bigger runs. So, um, you know, finding ways to make that extra hat miss and turn some of those medium runs into huge ones is going to be a big difference for him. Uh, for Zach, it's really not super different. Uh, we need to turn some of these medium, pretty good runs into explosive home run, uh, you know, ones that, that send the big house into an eruption. So um, both those guys have kind of the same focus. And I really believe that with the, with the, experience the confidence continuing to understand the system where where the unblocked defenders are and just running with more confidence they're both gonna make a lot of improvements in that in that area